almost. You can see the half of the beak on the bottom just has him totally screwed up. They finally got it, but I missed it. You know, it's just frustrating, but he finally got it. He got that one. So that's a good thing. Almost. Well, he's gotten it once or twice, but most of the time it's just a failed attempt. No. Well. Welcome to Birdland. So now he's worn out and he's going over to get a drink. So I put those buckets out and they seem to really, um, the birds like them. You know, water is a good thing for birds and the buckets are easy to handle. So we used to be two ibis, I don't know what happened to the other one, and now this one's left, and they say it's a calcium deficiency. So, um, I don't know, he's got a limp, he's got, the beak went spastic, so, so we're dealing with here, and the big bird, he's fine, he's just the regular, he's here every morning, I wake up and there's big bird waiting to be fed. And I give them turkey bacon because they like it. It's easy to keep. And then I give them mullet cleaning. When I clean the mullet, they get the remnants of the cleaning, the bones and the stomachs and the things that I don't eat. So finally, he got it. So... That's about a 10 to 1 chance. Now he's got a raft around his beak. He doesn't know what to do. He'll figure that out. But you got the point. It's just frustrating and sad. But they say it's a calcium deficiency, but I don't know what it is. The other part of the equation is trying to keep Big Bird from coming over and stealing it so he's used to being fed himself so he's really uh, part of the problem here trying to feed this thing I just doesn't understand how to deal with half a beak on the bottom. I mean, I can understand it'd be difficult. He needs to go to physical therapy, and you know, I guess I'm just trying to prolong the, put off the inevitable. But uh, that's what all life's about, is I guess putting off the inevitable. Now this is the latest Land's End issue. This Ibis has been coming here for years. And this last uh, week or two, he's been having problems limping and his lower beak has been broken off. And uh, first it crossed. It was just sort of like uh, spastic and loose. And then it just broke off. So now he has half a beak and I'm trying to feed him. And um, so that is what I'm doing, and uh, he's a nice little bird, and he's just having a hard time. So I'm trying to figure out a way I can feed him until he figures out what to do with this new half beak.
And the trick is, is to get him to get the bacon, but what he does is he knocks it off the stick, and then it's on the ground, and he only has, the upper beak is still long, and the lower beak is half, so he can't figure out that whole puzzle. And uh, so that's what we're doing, is just trying to get him to where he can get something to eat. So far he's real good at getting it off the stick, but he's only been able to eat a few pieces because once it's on the ground he can't pick it up because he can't figure it out. Well, I was hoping that I'd be able to get him getting it, but so far he's real good at getting it off the stick, but not so good at getting it. He's real good at getting it off the stick, he's just not very good at, he's gotten it a couple of times, but anyway, it's progress.